Today, we look at Blake Wesley, a four-star shooting guard out of Indiana. If you like my content, do me a solid by sharing and subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoy the video. At 6'5", 180 pounds, the shooting guard out of South Bend, Indiana is ranked 114th in the country and rated the 28th best shooting guard in the 2021 class via the 247 composite. He's one of the better players I've seen from the Midwest and he's cut his long list of schools down to six. He'll be choosing between Maryland, Notre Dame, Purdue, Creighton, Xavier, and Kansas State. His player comparison is going to be NBA player and former McDonald's All-American Chris Dunn. Strong scorers who love to play aggressive and get to the rack. Okay shooters. They can create for themselves and for their teammates. Guys who also play tough on the defensive end, using their length and quickness to make life difficult for opposing players. For his athleticism, he can show some bounce when he's attacking the rim. He's quick fast and has long arms. Not only is he able to finish at a high level around and above the rim, he does a great job on the defensive end, staying active. He deflects passes, he's quick to the ball, and at 6'5", he can test shots well on the wings, being bigger and longer than most opponents, and has shown to contest and block shots at the rim against bigger players as well too. He's fairly explosive, especially in transition when he has the basketball blowing by defenders and then raising up over the rim. He's more of a one-foot jumper than a two-foot power jumper, so he's usually gliding towards the rim, torquing and maneuvering his body in midair to counter the contact, and still hanging the air for strong finishes. His ability to attack the rim and create for teammates is why he's a highly coveted recruit. He is always putting pressure on the defense and attacking them relentlessly in transition and in the half court. Aggressive off the bounce, seeking contact as he's driving, he's not a heavy guard by any means, but he's still using his size and weight to bump and initiate physicality. Then his athleticism comes into play to finish that possession. He's either using his explosiveness to finish at the rim, or he's using it to make sure his teammates are getting passes, whether for open shooters or addition to teammates cutting to the basket. He has a good handle for his size, and he's technically listed as a shooting guard, but I think he can handle any type of guard duty in the backcourt at the next level. He's got that skill set, size, and he definitely has that confidence. As a shooter, his shot is pretty interesting. When he's loading up his shot, he brings the ball up not only in front of his face, but a bit to his left side. He's also squaring his body almost perpendicular to the basket. Um, this will impact him if he shoots off the dribble going hard to his right, unless he changes his form completely, which isn't ideal for consistency. He's pretty streaky and isn't afraid to shoot from deep range. He can miss a few in a row, but then he can hit you with multiple makes in a row. As of now, based on the film and games I've watched, he's most comfortable shooting threes in spot-up situations, little triple threat action, uh, and if it's in transition, it's going to be a straight walk-in type of shot off the dribble, or if he's going to his left to line up his shot. Overall, he's a tall guard who has the skill set to play right away at the next level, and will thrive if you surround him with solid shooting. He's got good length and athleticism, and he has really good instincts defensively. With an improved shooting form, it'll open up his overall game. Higher consistency from deep will make his attacking off the bounce that much more dangerous. Dan Dockage. Can't guard me.